Hello everybody and welcome back to Advanced Maths. Today we're looking at negative numbers. We're going to learn how to add, subtract, multiply and divide negative numbers. On a number line, it looks like this. We've got the positive numbers going one way and the negative numbers going the other way. Negative numbers bring direction to the number line and it's like the positive numbers are going forwards and the negative numbers are going backwards. Let's see how we add and subtract negative numbers. Let's start with 3 plus 2. This is really simple. We start with 3 and we go up 2 to 5 and the answer is 5. Now let's do minus 7 plus 4. We start with minus 7 and we go up 1, 2, 3, 4 and we get to minus 3 and that's the answer. 1 minus 5 uh, is now subtracting a number and this is the same as 1 plus minus 5 or 1 minus plus 5. So if you ever see uh, it written with brackets or with a positive and negative, a negative and a positive, it just means subtract. Okay? Uh, so don't get confused by that. So we start with 1 and we go backwards 5 and we get minus 4 is the correct answer. Now let's also do minus 1 minus minus 3. That is a negative um, being subtracted. And so if you ever subtract a negative, it's just like adding that number. So minus 1 minus minus 3 is minus 1 plus 3. So we start with minus 1 and we go up 3. Like this. And we get to 2. And that's the final answer. When you're adding or subtracting numbers, use a number line and count whether you're going up or down. Okay? Now let's look at multiplying negative numbers. The rule is a positive times a positive is a positive. A positive times a negative is a negative. A negative times a positive is a negative. A negative times a negative is a positive. I would copy this into your books now. This is really important you remember these rules. If you remember this, we're happy. Now, the rule is exactly the same for dividing. So, for dividing, it looks like this. A positive divided by a positive is a positive. A positive divided by a negative is a negative. A negative divided by a positive is a negative. A negative divided by a negative is a positive. Okay? Let's see these uh, rules in action. 3 times 4 is 12. So 3 times minus 4 is minus 12. Minus 3 times 4 is minus 12. Minus 3 times minus 4 is a negative times a negative, which is a positive 12. Similarly, 2 times 50 is 100. Now, we've, this also works with fractions. So 2 times uh, 2 thirds times 1 fifth is 2 fifteenths. So, it re remains the same with fractions. So, minus 2 thirds times 1 fifth is minus 2 fifteenths. Okay? So, it's the exact same for fractions. Don't be scared of it being a fraction. Now, for dividing negatives, we have 10 divided by 2 is 5. So, the rule follows. And it also works with decimals. So 3.2 divided by 4 is 0 0.8. 3.2 divided by minus 4 is minus 0 0.8, like this. Minus 3.2 divided by minus 4 is a negative divided by a negative, which is a positive. Okay? Now, if you're ready uh, to try this yourself, you've got all these questions here to try. Pause the video now. Take five minutes or longer and see how far you can get. I've added a number line at the bottom for your adding and subtracting. For your multiplying, just remember that you have to uh, use your multiplying and dividing rules. Good luck, pause the video, and when you're ready, I'll reveal the answers in three, two, one. Okay, did you get the right answer? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching today's video with Advanced Maths. I hope you learned something new. 
If you'd like to see more videos, remember to like and subscribe. And best of luck in your exams.